Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the river's long profile. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. The long profile of a river shows how the gradient changes as a river flows from source to mouth. The gradient is steep in the upper course, more gentle in the middle course, and almost flat in the lower course. You can see these changes using the Bradshaw model. This is a theoretical model that helps us describe the changes that occur as a river flows downstream. It is shown as a series of triangles. If the triangle widens downstream, it means that the variable increases. So we can see according to the model in the image on the screen that the channel depth and width, along with the mean velocity, discharge and volume of load, all increase as a river flows from source to mouth whereas load particle size, channel bed roughness and gradient all decrease, as shown by the triangles tapering off as we move downstream. Let's think about how the characteristics of the river change as you move downstream. We will start off by thinking about the characteristics of the upper course. In the upper course there is a high relief and steep gradient, meaning lots of potential energy despite having low velocity and small discharge. There is a narrow, shallow channel where trickles merge to form rivulets, which coalesce to create a single channel or stream. The riverbed is rough with large angular rocks on the bed. Erosion in the upper course is mainly vertical and the process of hydraulic action. Transportation in the upper course is mostly traction with large boulders rolled along the riverbed and deposition occurs in the upper course with large boulders dropped. The landforms that we would find in the upper course of the river include waterfalls, gorges, V-shaped valleys and interlocking spurs. Let's move on to the characteristics of the middle course. In the middle course the relief of the land is lower. There are less mountains and hills, so the gradient of the river reduces. Along this section, the channel gets deeper and wider, and tributaries join the main river, meaning that lots of extra water joins the channel, so the velocity and discharge are both quite high. The riverbed is smoother than the upper course, and sediment is smaller and less rough. Erosion in the middle course begins to erode laterally, or sideways, into the valley sides, with less vertical erosion, meaning that the valleys are wider. The erosion is mainly abrasion and attrition. Transportation in the middle course is with material of a smaller average particle size as attrition has taken place, leading to suspension. And there is lots of deposition, particularly on the inside of meander bends. Landforms in the middle course include meanders and oxbow lakes. And of course, we get on to the characteristics of the lower course. In the lower course, the land is low lying with wide, flat landscapes. And as a result, the river's gradient is almost flat. The channel is at its widest and deepest here with high velocity and discharge. And the riverbed is smooth and covered in alluvium. In the lower course, there is less erosion and it is only lateral. However, the river is at its most powerful as the velocity is greater here. In the lower course, there is a large load made up of tiny particles, so transportation is in the form of suspension or solution. However, it is important to understand that the main fluvial process here is deposition. Fine sediment known as alluvium builds a floodplain when the river bursts its banks, and this is extremely fertile, so it is good for crop growing. Landforms in the lower course include levees, floodplains, and estuaries or deltas. You also need to understand that discharge increases downstream as tributaries join the main river and increase its volume. Velocity also increases as you move downstream. Although the gradient is steep in the upper course, the small channel size means there's a lot of friction with the bed and banks relative to the overall channel size, meaning a slower average flow rate. In the lower course, the river channel is wider and deeper. This is because there is less water in contact with the beds and banks relative to the overall volume of water transferred, that it has a more efficient channel shape. Greater efficiency means higher velocity. 
Bed roughness also reduces with distance from the source, which also reduces friction. That concludes this 2 to 2 u revision video focusing on the river's long profile. Thank you for watching.